So for Isaac Bibovich, metaphor though, is the, uh, the human being is a metaphor that links the material with the spiritual and the creation with the creator. Um, it's basically what makes poetic expression possible. The essence of the human being is what makes poetry possible. Uh, poetry is not just an expression of human thought. Human beings are poetry in action. Um, when we ask questions like, how should the human being live? We're really asking about the origin of the human being. So again, it goes back to this idea of what makes a human being a human being. Um, and here we see Isaac Bugovich asking, well, what makes a human being that? The answer to this question is not to be found in biology. And I made this point earlier um, in a, uh, in a post I believe it was and even in a video recording at some point. Isaac Bugovich does not concern himself with the biology of, hum of uh, evolutionary theory, which is something that a lot of people focus on today. Um, what he does is it goes beyond that. He, if, if you're looking at evolutionary theory, for example, for Isaac Bigovich, he will even concede for you. He will just say like, listen, putting religion aside, putting anything the Quran would say about it aside or about the human being aside, even if we accept evolutionary theory, what you've explained is the material dimension of human existence, but you, have, you still have not explained what makes a human being a human being. Um, evolution, and this is one really poignant cr uh, criticism that he has about it, evolution doesn't produce human beings. It produces what is called an ideal or a perfect animal that fulfills natural functions and physiological functions in an adapted way that allows it to survive in nature. That's really what evolution does. It, it's not going to give you a human being that has intellect, that has thought, that has aspirations, that has spirituality, that has any of these things. And if you look at a lot of uh, modern scientists and modern psychologists, when they try to tackle these issues, if they adhere to a materialist perspective and a physicalist uh, kind of philosophy, you'll find them coming up with really um, uh, kind of hand-waving uh, answers. And these answers have to do with uh, emergence or as a uh, byproduct. It's just an emergent property of the interaction of physical things within the human being and within the brain that gives us these manifestations. And so in a way, they're trying to dismiss it without really answering it. Um, uh, there is nothing in evolution that will produce anything other than an animal. Humans, on the other hand, are not restricted to physiology, and we know that, uh, because we place more importance on the metaphorical, di metaphysical dimension that is indicated by physical things. And Isaac Bigovich simply asks, why? Why is that the case? Um,